Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, the Busia Senator Okia Umtata promised William Samoy Ruto to reconsider his Finance Act, and if not, then he should prepare for a very spirited war through the chambers of the court. And indeed, Okia Umtata was very serious. Remember, he took the matter to the, to the court, then uh, Lady Justice Mugure turned and made a ruling, which even she suspended operationalization, operationalization of the Finance Bill Act. Then we know the three judges being that uh, Mother Kome uh, appointed to hear this matter. Uh, and um, uh, this bench is led by uh, David, uh, uh, Justice David Majanja. And uh, the case is going on. Though we know some changes that have happened, where now uh, some judges have been forced, forced to do some uh, ruling to allow operationalization of the finance, despite the fact that there was another ruling uh, which was against it. Then we are seeing other dramas coming in as far as the issue of transfers. Now it is emerging. But then this is what has been going on in the court. <laughs> that is by the close of business today in the matter. Yes, my lord, yes. I will bring that if these people can't defend their affidavits, then the affidavits be struck off the records. We need a fair trial and we need an equality of arms in this court. The, the ruling I've made is really not in my favor. It's prejudicial to the, my case if those affidavits remain on record and the authors cannot be cross-examined on them. They have made affirmations which are totally false and constitute perjury on this court. They have manufactured documents and we want to put their feet to the fire. Mr. Omtata, we have made a ruling. I, I appreciate my lord, but it's, I think if no, we no. go in that direction, we are, going to, we are not serving justice. I need to be heard. I need a fair trial in this court. I need to cross-examine the speaker of the, of the Senate, who is my speaker and my junior. Mr. Omtata, we have made a ruling. And thank you very much for your observations. Okay, we move now to the next. And, and please. Now, as Kenyans have been watching very carefully what is happening in the corridors of the court, uh, the other new just emerged that in the 13 judges who have been uh, transferred in the latest changes, at least we have all those judges who are involved in the uh, case that Okio Plata presented before the court, they have been affected, <laughs> all of them. This changes is affecting several divisions in the judiciary. Then we wonder then, why is it that this individual's uh, mother come just decided to touch on judges who are handling a very serious case in this country in the new transfer? What is happening? Where is the independence of the judiciary? Because if you read Article 172 of our Constitution, JSC has a responsibility and I want us to check into that if you allow me this is what the article is reading judicial service commission is mandated to promote and facilitate the independence and the accountability of judiciary and the efficiency effective and the transparent administration of justice that's under article 172 of our constitution. Where is the independence of judiciary? Manda Kome should answer this question. If there was independence, then what we are witnessing can never happen. Such like that you are doing changes when we know that we have judges who have been assigned to do a very critical work. Why is it that in these changes, Justice David Majanja? A presiding judge on a petition challenging finance act now has been moved from commercial 
and tax division to civil division. That means he might no longer handle this case, or if he's handling this case, it is the last one, he will be handling, but then he will be doing something different. Now, Lady Justice Hardwin Ogundi. Ogundi was been, has been transferred from Constitution and the Human Rights Division to Nakuru. Munajama the police wa kifana kwa age. Police brutality and all those things that is touching on human rights. They have violated human rights in a very huge way. People transfer. Kikuja tena unapata uh, another person here. Lady Justice Mugure Tande. A lady who made a ruling without any fear. A lady who delivered justice to Kenyans. According to her, the case that Okio Mdata presented was of weight matters and therefore it needed to be given a priority. And with that, she made a ruling suspending the finance bill operationalization until the matter is heard and determined. Then what she did, did she do? She decided to put that matter now to the uh, uh, mother Kome desk, whereby now Kome had to consult a bench to listen to this case. And she explained herself. Now she has been transferred. She has been serving as a constitution and a human rights division. Now she has been moved to Malindi High Court. Sasa you are in Nairobi, at Olewa Nairobi, apeluka all the way to Malindi, coast region. Saying that wakati tunakunya na hizi kese hapa Nairobi, sababu wata nakibianga hapa Nairobi. Hata kuwa hako. So, watonolee jamu. According to Ruto and Kenya Kwanza, CJ Mother Kome, in the jam. So, so jam. These transfers have targeted judges who are listening to this case. We know that that's it. There's no problem with transfers. But at what time is this transfers coming? And what informed this transfer? There's a huge problem here. Now, as we continue this particular discussion, just a quick request for those who are watching and uh, you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel. Subscribers, Master, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And back to this discussion. Now, what we are reading into this issue is that Mother Kome has now given in and she has allowed William Samuel Ruto to take over judiciary. Judiciary is under capture. Judiciary is under siege. And the judiciary has been captured by the executive. Seemingly, they are determined to have their way. And if you see the executive going to an extent of, you know, trying to intimidate judges, bribe someone who has a strong case in the court, then the person refused to play into the gallery, then they move on to compromise judiciary, they engineer this transfers, then it tells you one thing, that indeed we still have some good judges in this country. That's why, because they cannot be compromised, the only thing you can do is to give them transfer. That means that these judges might have refused to act in favor of the state. And because of that, transfers has to be engineered. And if not, then it means maybe Mother Kome in one way or another discovered that this judge, maybe she has been starting, she has been starting them, studying them on how they have been making their ruling. And she is realizing that she cannot easily compromise them. They cannot buy into that thing. Because of this, if they are not friendly or if they cannot easily buy into what she want them to do, then the only thing you can do is to remove them and bring in those questionable characters that you can easily use. So that you can tell them, make this ruling like this, want this ruling to go in this way. You know, people who can make phone calls here and there, they pick and make 
some weird rulings to favor the state. I think that's what they are looking for. Otherwise, there was no hurry to do these transfers. <laughs> There's no problem with transfers, but why hurry? Kwame Ametagneza a bench. Before the bench listened to this case, Meneda transfers. What informed these transfers? And I've been reading comments from Kenyans. This is what they're saying. It means these judges have refused to be bought. And now their only remaining thing is to transfer them because they are not willing to put their integrity on a question. They have refused. So when Okia okay, Mdata says that he's going to have a spirited fight and it's, it's going to be marathon. <laughs> is it Alisama sprint or marathon? Whichever. So we are seeing Okia okay, Omtata. Um, and as well, because I know there's advocates who are in the court on the same case. We know Otienda Mole is also in the court helping in this case. They are giving the executive a run for their money. And now they are using every means possible. So the integrity in the judiciary is going to be questionable just because of the president of the Supreme Court, CJ Mother Komi. She has allowed this to happen. The only place Kenyans could run to when they have a problem for solution and justice, it is the court. But once we see such kind of exercise taking place in the court, then where do we run to? justice, wapi? Mamba ya mahakama ilikuwa to eliminate the issue of anarchy, disorder, so that when you have a problem, you know at least there is a place you will rush to and you will be served with justice. Lakini wakati umefika mali, you lose confidence and trust in the judiciary. Where do you run to next? Sitakuwa ni anarchy kwa inji. We are seeing Ruto, his government, CJ Kome and the team reducing Kenya into anarchy state. Hapo na tunafika. So we talk about if we are not being served with justice, it will be riot, chaotic. It will be messy. There will be no order in this country because someone is trying to buy justice. So with me, with all this move, what I'm seeing here is a, a weird plan that Ruto is cleverly trying to play using Mother Kome to have his way. So Kome has betrayed the judiciary. Kome has betrayed Kenyans. Kome has betrayed our courts.